What's happening? Welcome back. Fucking about today, Bellmans. We're joined by Tom and eating Luke, the BC5. Uh, Luke's car's a. It's like a, it's like a Spanish Polo, isn't it? Yeah. It's, Polo. it's like the of cars. It is the uh, the paella of polos. It's not, it's not, it's nice. It's nice colour. It's modified ish. Ish. It's got some stuff done. <laughs> so we're fucking about today. We've got loads of shit to do, but mainly these. Tom, do some unboxing. Dun 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 Ah oh, nice are they? So I got these from Rushworth um, I'll leave his Instagram on the screen Same place I get a few bits on the car from All your bits from? Yeah It's not from me, it's from Matt Yeah So they're They're gonna be big sloppy boys We all We are <laughs> We fucking do it <laughs> Uh, I've gone for yellow if you're not colour blind. Uh, I went for Paget. Uh, they're like the one under the That's full on race pad. for yellow stuff, EBC, race car because you yellow, too famous. If I was going for yellow stuff, it's basically a death wish because yellow stuff, when EBC make their pads, they decide that the backing plate and the pad material don't actually need to be connected because the glue that holds them together is weight saving not just that a lot of people don't know EBC have now changed all the colours of the pads that used to be red with hard one then it were yellow at middle one weren't it and then yeah. green with soft one and now I think there's like the top one's an orange one, one or something they've changed all the chart so before you go buying your pads thinking red's hardest or orange it's yellow's middle I think Yellow now is just like a normal road pad. Yeah, yellow's like a road pad. And no, I think red's a road pad. There's like an orange green. one, a blue one. There's yeah. loads the, of different ones. The blue's ones. the best one that they do. But these are Paget RS29s. The internet's favourite And the ice cream. <laughs> if you don't know that vine, then just un unsubscribe now. <laughs> It's a nice DC5 though. So we're draining the oil out, he's ringing Big John at Euro. Um, and we've got some Miller's Nano Drive, like a race oil. Motorsport engine oil. Yeah. We're laughing. Alright, so, 911 Tarbo calipers are coming off, being sold to a friend. Of a friend, of a friend. No, he's a friend, isn't he? Matt. Matt. We might even see his car later in the video. You will. Uh, doing 140. <laughs> on uh, definitely a private road. So in my usual fashion, I wanted to change these for Rushworth two-piece discs. Thomas, are you listening? I wanted to change these to padded pads. That's 500 quid. And then someone said, oh, sell me your brakes. And I agreed on the price. And I did my usual and just went over the top. It's kind of like ginger calipers because that would have been going well over the top. While we're here, obviously, some of you may remember, this wheel is free. It's not free to buy, but this one is seized. So we're putting a brand new caliper on. Last time we did it, it was a bit of a temporary fix. We're going to do a size comparison, and then we're going to compare the size of the discs. If you know, you know. Hopefully we're going to end in tears. From Jack's part. <laughs> I like how there's, a, there's an opening and he decides to make his own hole. We're talking about discs here, or something like that first. Wherever you want, mate. Next, next one, which, which way are they sided? Where the. I so it I, says on the back. I have it where they roll into the I'd have it one. so that's passenger side. People it's, have it's them. It's got interior vents. That's what I mean. Yeah, I go off, forward, I go off vents. No, yeah. They, yeah, they go forward to suck the air in. You got old disc versus new disc. How does 
add as the weight compared to Arnold, you reckon? <sighs> Fucking hell, they are quite big actually. <laughs> About the same, do you reckon? A tiny bit lighter on that. On that, yeah. Literally. That's the benefit of a two piece. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there's no grub school. <coughs> Luckily we've got studs, so it's okay. Just putting Jack's brakes on. Um, Hold the camera up. Just putting Jack's brakes on. And we've got these caliper brackets. And it says for installa Installation. Installation. But it's not even spelt right. I'm pretty sure it just says 100% Chinese, King Prawn Fried Rice Chips Curry Sauce. So when we're on Cadwell Wednesday, and uh, there won't be a video, but I'll, but, but, <laughs> but Wednesday night when Jack's fucking posting up on the car for sale page on Facebook saying has anybody got any R32 front ends, that's, uh, that, that is going to be the reason of why Jack's looking for a front end on his car when he doesn't stop and rear ends matter like 80. What will happen is, sorry I'm eating, what will happen is I will be in front of Tom because it will be raining and then I will not be able to brake and then Tom will just rear end me to try and get me out of the game and then take over the channel <laughs> and take over the, the zero money that we earn. Win-win on my off. Actually, pass me impact good, we'll just rush it now. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. Next one. Do you need luck to on that bolt, if I... Just an extra ugga dugger. That's it. So, we're just test fitting in a minute because I haven't actually tested if the wheels fit over. Should I test fit and set up the fucking shims first? if we've got enough. So the case boards are a bit weird. I know, uh, I'll link a video down below of my friends who fitted theirs on their E46 M3. Um, but they had loads of trouble with getting the pads to sit right. Because the caliper is the same on all cars and it's just the adapter that's different, some of the pads don't sit right. So you have to sort of modify them slightly. Shib it out. That's dirty now. We'll clean it up afterwards and take Will they clear we out the spacer? No. No, you need that spacer. Oh, there's loads of room. Fucking oh, fucking two in there. Fucking room for activities. <laughs> There's so much room for activities. <laughs> right, so we're going to get a 15 mil spacer now, off the size. No, I kind of like the 30 because it sits flush. I'll probably get a 25 just so it's. Or a just, 20. just so I could spend more money. <laughs> if I said I'd get a 25, you'd have said get a 20. <laughs> no, a 25 would probably be alright, or a 20. Take that space off, I bet it's not close with that off, with this off, I bet you. See what I mean? A, a 10 mil space would make them clear, no problem. Yeah, but then you've got peasant fitment. Yeah. <laughs> peasant fitment. Shipment. Yeah, we'll stick to it. We'll stick to the 30 for now, just for the starty boys. Just because Jack's poor at the moment. Jack's always poor. Do you know why Jack's poor? Because he comes here. That is a massive lie. <laughs> Jack could be a fucking lot poor if you didn't have friends like me. Couldn't you, Jack? Oh, um, no comment. <laughs> it's one side done, obviously. You have to trim the pads down a little bit so they sit right. And then that's one side done. Lovely. Next side now. That is uh, how to remove the heat shield bolt. Yeah, he's got this weird little, like a, it's almost like a spring loaded screwdriver. It's from Snap On. Obviously. Snap On, obviously. It's designed for the actual, uh, do you know the bolt that holds the disc in? That one? Yeah. They're not rounded off, aren't they? Yeah. It's designed for that. Basically. Oh, yeah, well, I know it has rounded off because it's fucking there. Yeah. Basically, you wiggle that in and then whichever way you want it, like, you can lock it that way or lock it that way. And when you bang it forward, it like it's it goes forward and spins the bolt. So and 
that's cracked it off and then you just spin it off. Easy! Like that mate. We've got to ditch the heat shields because they're a bit shitty. And we've got another video, I'm making some great ducks. Yeah. I bought some carbon fibre sheeting if you don't follow in. So we're going to rip these out, make them out of carbon fibre and then you can get some Mark II golf brake ducks that like are that sort of shape and they're they, they gloss black or carbon your ones white i've painted them black painted them black we'll paint them black and then they'll go through there and then round and then into the back right then no disc second one's nearly on now there's just a bit of a piss about with these with the brake lines it's not a piss about the, the hole is basically too small and yeah. that's the first time jack's ever had that problem We're in a what is it? What's what's the the model code for these? Exactly on FR. No, it's a Cooper it's on FR. And a Cooper on FR. Based on the fact that we just had to stop for a 30 mile an hour, that was it struggled to stop at 30. So he definitely is dead set on buying my Porsche brakes. I don't really like the gear knob. I don't like that. It's, it feels great right weird. It feels it feels like I'm changing. Nice. Ge it feels like that I'm changing like gear. <laughs> just got back from taking mats for an MOT. And uh, new calipers here. Hey. No, I've got three different colour calipers. <laughs> and some new pads as well. Oh, this should be fine. The rear does fuck all breaking anyway. We've got them all on and all bled up. The new rear calipers on. Easy life, Thomas. Is what? Easy life. Easy life? Yeah. I'm a mechanic, there's no such thing as an easy life. What do you think? They look you nice. Was, was from these. We've got a nice shiny new silver one on the back. Yeah man. Wang it on in a bizzle. What have we seen about that? It, fresh install video. Fresh install Mega Mount. <laughs> this is another one of the cars that's coming in. Another Mark 7. And another car on ADO and ours. Everyone's on fucking ADO and ours in this garage. Just bedded them in under Tom's tactical advice. What do we reckon? Good braking. Well, we don't know yet because they're very old, like, but yeah. we'll soon find out when we next drive it. We just need to get rid of that pad deposit, what's left on the uh, disc. That'll come off when you drive it. That's it, we uh, did oil. So we got some fresh millers in. Case warts are on, new rear calipers on. So it's driving a lot better. Obviously, we didn't film it uh, when we were driving about. Because it's boring watching someone do the speed limit, isn't it? When you're trying to bed your brakes in at the speed limit, it's not exactly fantastic viewing. But we are pretty much ready for Cadillac. I think this tyre, from when the alignment was out, that tyre's a little bit lower than that one. So I think one or two more track days and that will be in the bin. I think that's it, I'm afraid. We are done. Perfect race car install. 
get the job done. So our next video will either be Cadwell Park or something about Tom's Mark II. Are you excited for Cadwell? Right excited, can't wait. I'm a bit shit myself to be honest. Not for driving it, I'm just a bit scared for... I've not drove that car on track yet and I've got a big reputation to not live down. But it's just for me, it's an eight hour racing. So, just chill out in it. We're not... Well, we're racing ourselves really, aren't we? That's how I... I've got to say, we just when people ask, you say, you're sort of just trying to get better. We're not fucking about it too much on first day. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, do me a favour, go follow Tom and go follow Matt at Rushworth. The brake kit is fucking awesome. So yeah, let me know what you think of them. Uh, let me know if you think I should change the colour. I'm, I'm going to be changing either the back ones to yellow or I'm going to change all of them to like the R32 blue again. Because I do quite like that colour. But yeah, if you did enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe, drop us a follow. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.